Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my Mono Normal Run. And before we can leave Saffron City, we need to pick up Psychic. Because Aluna will not learn this move naturally, oddly enough. Part Psychic, but doesn't learn the best Psychic attack, go figure. It does in later generations, but in this generation, Drafford gets Crunch instead, a Dark-type attack. Which, honestly, I'm not sure I'd want to put on Giraffe Rig anyway. I don't know. I mean, I'd rather have Psychic over Crunch. Dark types don't have the advantage on too many Pokemon besides, like, Psychic types, and I already have Shadow Ball for them. So I don't really need Crunch. Yeah, let's see. Um, Confusion, obviously. Stomp still has some utility, after all, because I can use it to make opponents flinch, like, a third of the time. I suppose technically I could do a combo by getting rid of Side Beam and taking Swagger. Giving an opponent a 50% chance to hit themselves and a 30% chance to flinch. Um, it'd be better if I could also paralyze the target, but that would require a complete rebuild of the Pokémon at this point. I don't want to do that. I might be somewhat tempted to do that more with, um... Vixen than I would be Aluna. I like Aluna's setup quite fine already. I don't really see the reason to change it. But, let's start digging into our opponents here. <laughs> I don't care how sweet you think your moves are, you're going down. Plus, both your Pokemon are part poison, so this is going to be easy. Against my Aluna, your Victory Bell and Vile Plume stand no chance. You might as well give up now. For someone argued, it'd probably make more sense to have taught Psychic to a Pokemon that was, um... Male, so I could pass it on. Oh, well. I ain't too worried about it. It's not like I'm gonna be doing a lot of breeding on this team. If I was gonna do competitive play, though, that would be a concern to make, um... Putting Pokemon that can breed moves onto each other with, um... Picking the right Pokemon to do it with. Then you can always pick up Psychic from the um, Celton Game Corner, too, if you're willing to get a coin case and spend the coins on it. I don't think I have a coin case, though. I usually skip it in this generation, so I know I didn't have it in Crystal because I tried getting a prize there, and they told me no, because you don't have a coin case. Not that I had no coins, but I didn't have the case itself. Um, which is alright, I mean, I can get by without all the Haunters knowing Psychic, after all. Would've been nice, but I can get by without it. Okay... This is too easy. I have such a massive level advantage right now, I can tear through all these teams. All I might stand a chance is Erica, and even then I don't give her good um, odds of winning either. There's not very many good grass Pokémon in this generation, there really isn't. I found a lot of difficulty getting a grass team through. I didn't have as many miracle wins as, say, the fire team when I was doing that, but... Grass has a lot of disadvantages this generation. It's really irritating. Like, so many of the gym leaders in um, Johto have the edge over if you go with a grass team. It can be really irritating. I heard it's even worse if you try and do it in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, because Chikorita doesn't learn Body Slam until much higher levels. Which can make an already difficult run even worse. This one's got Executor, though. Hmm. Decent, um, defenses all around. Uh, and it's probably gonna have to use Hypnosis against this, too. And it will probably succeed if it gets it off. Every time I fought this thing, it's managed to put my Pokemon to sleep. And then again, we also have Shadow Ball, so I guess we can just smash it with a Ghost-type attack. Yep, that's what you get. Okay. Yep, that's it. Hmm. I wasn't looking at you at all. You're the one who keeps dragging my eyes towards you. Well, now. A grass bug type. 
Yeah, I ain't got much love for Paris. Parasect's better, but it's still not that great. All there's to pick it up at all is for a spore, but if you want to make any real use of it, you're going to have to get a Quick Claw and hope it activates. Otherwise, you're screwed. But it was interesting seeing her switch the lineup around there. Usually she sends out, um... What? Was it Victory Bell next? No, it Execute, sorry. Hmm. Maybe she sends Tari to feed the last one. Trainer with a part psychic Pokemon decided it wasn't worthwhile. I don't know. And are those seeds or eggs? I mean, they look like eggs, but the Pokedex sometimes says they're seeds, sometimes says they're eggs. It's like the people researching eggs that you can't figure out what on earth they are. I guess, but can we just get on with it? I got other things to do today. Well, you can say you won't lose, doesn't mean you're gonna win. I mean, your pre the previous, um, version said the same thing, and all of them went down with relative ease. Hmm. Time to pull out the Psychic. I mean, with its base power and my stab advantage, it'd probably be enough to overwhelm it. You can send out your little, um, cotton ball if you want. I don't care. Before me, all your Pokemon will fall. Like dust before the wind or whatever. Or I guess that'd be scatter. Then again, none of the other Pokemon I used against her had such a massive level advantage either. Oh well, life's not fair, what can I say? Um, Psychic again. Of course, I think Bellossom gets better special defenses, so it might be able to take this. Thought so. That's alright. Well, one more level and we can decide if we want to keep Crunch or if we're just going to throw it away, I guess. Ah, uh, that's your last option? Well, you're screwed. Here it comes, the finishing blow. The coup de gras, if you, if you will. Then again, um... Lapu saw tactics, the coup de gras is just a kick to the dick. I'm not joking about that either, that's actually a character's special attack in that game. The main character's special attack, no less. She runs up and kicks people in the balls. Oof. How's that for a special attack? I would cover that game as a Let's Play, but... Uh, it's by, um... Nipponichi Software, so I can't really get a good frame rate on it with my, um... Capture card, so it doesn't work. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. If I wanted to do that one, I'd probably have to set up a PS2 emulator on my computer. And my efforts with that before have never gone very well, to say the least. Well, I suppose it should. Not that you can do much better, because the AI gets um, very little work in these games. They just usually pick random attacks, mostly. You know, Science is not completely random, but the AI just isn't bright enough to be competitive, usually. Well, that'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.